Hello, my name's Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Solhenge. And I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now, one of the truths about who you are, and you've heard me say this many times, is as a divine being, as a piece of source creation, you are able to manifest healing for yourself. And what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you how to heal your emotional inner child. And this is a variation of various methodologies and different meditations that I've heard over the years. And I wanted to just walk you through this process of being able to go back in time within this present moment and heal your inner child emotionally. Because I think what happens to people is that we carry our wounds from our childhood all the way into our present lives, you know, and I see this, it's prolific in many, many people. You know, when I see people exploding in anger or having tantrums or cutting off from their own emotions or um, stuffing their emotions with food and all of these different tactics that we employ to deal with our emotions, I really see in people that they're not present with their emotions in this time. And what they're doing is they're carrying their emotional wounds from childhood all the way into the now. And the meditation that I'm about to share with you is a meditation that I'm going to call to heal your wounded inner child. Okay. But this, so what we're going to do is we're going to heal our inner child, our wounded inner child as an entirety. But what you could do is if you're suffering with a particular emotional problem, so let's say your emotional problem is anger, you, you know, you flare up in anger at everything, no matter what it was, chances are that's come from your childhood. It could be ancestral, you could have brought it in through other lifetimes, but you've carried it into your childhood and then that's been really part of your subconscious programming that you are now walking around with day to day. So if you want to heal something specific, you can use this meditation to heal something specific. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the meditation. I'm going to walk you through the meditation in general terms so you know what's happening. And then we're going to do the meditation together. And as I walk you through it in general terms, I'll explain to you how you can do this if you wanted to do it with a specific thing. So you can do this with a specific emotion or um, a specific um, sort of s sense of feelings or scenarios that always crop up for you. So for example, if you always feel alone, you could do it around that. You could, you could heal the lonely child. Or even if you have a physical pain, you could use this to heal the physical ailment, basically. And a lot of what this meditation is about is sitting with your emotional problem, your wounded child. Because I think it's a natural instinct for us, if we have been wounded, if we have a wound, to try and just sort of stick a band-aid on it and then push it to one side and get on with our daily lives. It's kind of our, that's our sort of survival instinct that is always kicking in. And actually it's all very well to put a band-aid on things, but what happens is that you're not healing the wound. At, you know, from whence it came, you know, at its deep level. And so the wound is always bleeding slightly and you're always having to put new plasters on it and it never quite heals. And the only really good way to heal a deep wound is to go in there and, you know, stitch it up from the inside out, really go in deep from where, you know, where, where the wound started from and sit with it and hold it. And I've read a lot of books by Thich Nhat Hanh. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's, um, he's, he's a monk and he lives here in France, actually 10 minutes from my house. And he's like the, the second most holy man alive after the Dalai Lama, apparently. And he's very much teaches mindfulness. And part of this practice I got from him because what he advocates is sitting with your 
problem as if it was a babe in your arms. And what happens is when you sit with something as if it was a babe in your arms, you tend to hold it and you tend to nurture it without judgment. So you're not trying to, so if a baby was crying and you, you know, picked it up, you wouldn't judge it for crying. You wouldn't go back over everything that had happened. You would just hold it until it felt better. And sometimes just acknowledging and holding something, in other words, coming into an awareness of it and being present with it can heal something and that's how this meditation works so without further ado i'm going to explain the meditation to you and then you're going to have to just go away and try it and it really has worked for me um, and some of my clients doing this meditation and if you can really dive deeply into the meditation just let yourself really go with it and really feel it then I'm hoping that you will have a similar reaction and you'll be able to heal some of those wounds within you and the wounded child as a whole so this is what's going to happen I'm going to obviously get you to focus on your breath as I always do and then I'm going to drop get you to drop your awareness into your heart center now the reason I'm going to drop your awareness into your heart center is because we're dealing with the wounded child and emotions for this meditation and obviously the heart is the center of our emotions but if you were dealing with a mental issue so for example um you can't stop thinking about things or um I'm trying to think of a mental issue. Um, you know, you're you're full of anxiety, or you've got things issues that I don't know. There are more head brain; they're not emotional. You could start this meditation from your head space. You know, from from inside the the set, the energy center in your head, for example, the pineal gland. So it really is a choice. I'm choosing the heart center today because. Um, we're dealing with an emotional issue. So I'm going to ask you to drop into your heart center. And then I'm going to ask you to imagine that in front of you is a corridor. Okay. And I'm going to invite you to walk down the corridor that you see in front of you. And obviously, if you're doing a head thing, you would walk down corridors in your mind. Those are always really fascinating. So you're going to walk down this corridor in your heart and you're going to see many doors along the way, you know, doors to your left, doors to your right. Your corridor might be straight, it might be a whole maze thing going on, you might have a spiral corridor. However you visualize that is exactly right for you. So I'm going to invite you to walk down the corridor until you reach a door which says wounded inner child. And obviously, if you were working on a specific um, emotion, you might be looking for a door that says um, anger or emotional turmoil or um, uh, the child that always feels rejected. So whatever label comes up on the door is absolutely right for you. But obviously, you can be specific. And obviously, all of those doors within, within your heart are not all, you know, holding derogatory things. Some of them are holding beautiful, wonderful, and magical things. But in this case, we're going into our heart center to find that door, which says wounded in a child. And then I'm going to invite you to open the door and step inside and just look around at the room that your wounded inner child is in. And within this room will be your wounded inner child. And this may manifest as a baby in a cot or a crib, um, as a toddler or as a child or um, even as a teenager, or you might even see an adult, you know, whatever you see is right for you. So you're gonna walk into this room and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a note what is in the room and that's quite interesting because that's going to give you information um you're going to embody information about what that room looks like and so i'm going to ask you to go in observe the room and then carry on and sit yourself opposite your wounded inner child and from here you are just going to observe your wounded inner child, okay? So you're gonna sit and you're gonna spend time looking into this child's eyes, looking at what they're wearing, looking at their facial expression, looking at their energy field, how they feel, okay? And then I'm gonna ask you to pick up your wounded inner child, or if she's big or the same size as you, to just sit on the floor and hold them to you, okay? And I'm going to take you through a series of processes while you're doing that, and I'm going to talk to you, and I'm going to invite you to really feel as deeply as you can the process that I'm taking you through. And then when we're finished, 
I'm going to help you to merge with your inner child, okay? And you'll see, I'm not going to tell you too much more because I want you to really experience it, but you'll see why. And then I'm going to invite you to leave that room with the door open because it's no longer a shut door. It's now something that is accessible to you because it doesn't need to be shut out of your life anymore because you've healed it. And you're going to come back into your heart and then come back into your reality. And obviously, if you're doing this the head way, you would go down the corridor, same thing, look for the door with your label on that you will have decided before you begin. And then... Um, go in and do the whole process that way. And if you decide to do that process now while I'm speaking, obviously just supplement my words, which will be wounded in a child, for whatever you are healing. So that could be, you know, anger or, or whatever. And before I start this meditation, another thing you can do, which is really fascinating, is you can get into a meditative state and merely walk down the corridors of your heart or your mind and just have a look what is written on some of the doors there and do some exploration of your own self. Because the whole thing is, is that all of your answers to... Everything that you might need to know, including why you're here and your soul's purpose, are all within you. And all of the doorways that you are seeking, all of the answers that you would need to know for anything are within you. And that is why every meditation teacher, every spiritual guru, every person who's ever on this road encourages you to look within for your answers. So without further ado, I am going to begin. I encourage you to sit up if you can for this meditation, but obviously if you're constrained by injury, then to lie down and make yourself comfortable. So you're gonna be sitting up, relaxed. You're gonna take a breath in and out. And you're just gonna let go of this conversation and close your eyes. And begin to follow your breath. Allowing that rhythmical tide of your breathing to center you and bring you into your present moment. And now, I would like you to set your intention to go in to the secret corridors of your heart and find your wounded child and heal him or her. So set in your intention. And now I invite you to drop your awareness from your head brain down into your heart center. So you're drop, dropping your awareness down through the middle of your body and allowing it to land in your heart. And just feeling what it is to sit within your heart center. And if this is difficult for you, you could imagine dropping your eyes down your body until your eyes land in your heart so that you now are now seeing the world from a heart perspective. And as you sit here, you are going to allow the corridors within your heart to be revealed to you so that you are now facing an entrance to a corridor or corridors within your heart. And I invite you to begin to walk down this corridor, looking to your left and to your right at all the doors that you might see there and knowing that you are looking for a door which reads my wounded inner child on it. So you're walking down the corridor and when you find this door, just pausing for a moment 
on the threshold. And now you are at the door. And when you're ready, I will invite you to turn the handle and step into the room and begin to observe what you see there. So looking at the whole room, the floor, the shape of the room, what is the air like in this room? Does it seem familiar to you? Is this the first time you've ever entered? What color are the walls? Are there pictures on the walls? And more importantly, who is in the center of this room? So there in the center of the room is your wounded inner child. And I want you to approach him or her and stand or sit opposite them and begin to take them in through your eyes, through your senses and through your heart. What do they look like? How old are they? What does his or her energy feel like? What is his or her facial expression? Really taking your time to see your wounded inner child, to really feel their essence and their energy. And now I invite you to take your wounded inner child into your arms. And as you do this, really feeling their presence in your arms, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Feeling this wounded inner child and beginning to consciously soothe him or her with your presence, holding them, soothing them. Perhaps you are rocking them as you would any child who had fallen over and hurt themselves. Soothing, holding and healing them with your attention, with your presence and with your love. opening your heart to this beautiful child in front of you who has longed for your acknowledgement, who has longed for you to just sit with them exactly as you are doing now. So feeling your heart open and connect with this child.
and filling them with all of your love and all of your gratitude that they have waited for you knowing that one day you would be here for them. And there is no judgment here for you would never judge a little child who had hurt themselves. Just a holding, just an acknowledgement and a soothing. And so you pour all of your love into this child and little by little you see them responding to your attention. Becoming calmer, relaxing, letting go, allowing themselves to feel soothed and nurtured. And now they are responding even more. Their little face is lighting up with joy. Their heart is beaming. And they're beginning to feel happier and happier. More and more content. Connected to you in your arms. And now this child is completely healed. This is a piece of your soul that you have healed with your love. And so now I begin to encourage both of you to merge with one another again. So allowing yourself to open and expand and inviting your inner child to move and dissolve and merge into you so that you both become one again whole, healed, happy, vibrant, loved. And just feeling for a moment what it is to be reunited with this piece of yourself that had been lost for so long. Just feeling that wholeness, feeling complete and knowing that it was the power of your love, your awareness and your intention that made you whole again. And now I invite you to stand up and walk out of the room, leaving the door open. And go back along the corridors until you reach your heart. And from here, Gently bringing your awareness back up into your head brain and taking as much time as you need, opening your eyes, 
and coming back into the room. 